What an amazing experience we had as we went into Madagascar to be able to work with our partners on the ground and to be able to see their operation, to see how they harvest these beautiful blossoms, to see their distillation process, but more importantly, we really wanted to go in to see how we could best support their efforts, how we could expand the ylang ylang harvest for the future to make sure we continue to have this beautiful essential oil. Wait until they're nice and yellow. If you look inside here, you can see the pink inside the, the blossom here. That's where the essential oil is contained. As I'm able to go into these developing countries and really connect with the women who are harvesting the blossoms, who are harvesting the crop, and to be able to see the effort that goes into this process, my heart just goes out to them because I know that they are doing everything they possibly can to provide for their families. But what an amazing thing for us to be able to give them that hope to know that their circumstance can change. I pick these flowers from beginning at five o'clock in the morning. When they finish, they fill their basket they dump them on the table, and you can see that each one of them write their name so that uh, when they come to be weighed, they know how much, how much flowers that they picked and they're logged every day. And then at the end of the month, they're compensated for all of the flowers that they picked that month. Oh, tia, go, matosa, fahela, let parata dimi, drag full dimiam, neck dimampulu, neck is joy. Zami lam kurang, I'm draw fahela, razay. Harvesting ylang ylang is incredibly labor intensive from collecting the flowers from the different parts of the trees at different times during the harvest season. All of those need to be collected, batched, and brought to the distillery within a 24-hour time period. So it requires a lot of collective effort among lots of different harvesters. Afghanistan <laughs> What I noticed most about Madagascar is the people have joy. They have so little as far as material means, but yet they have joy. And we really, as a culture, need to go back to those things that really matter. Those are relationships. Those are serving one another and showing love. And I left Madagascar a changed person because of what I learned from those people.